Hey YouTube, it's me again with another video and today I want to talk about something very personal so I might get a little teary up and um yeah let's get right into the video um lately I've been kind of having traumatized PTSD uh feelings for quite some time now and um speaking up of bullying and um harassment and abuse at a treatment facility uh rehabilitation place that I went to. Um speaking out on it I was abused a little bit and um Technically, I had a concussion. I was slammed to the floor, and um, I ended up having a concussion that night. And I did not sleep at all because I was afraid to sleep that I would go into a coma or even worse, death. Um, Basically, the place has restrained, restrained orders, but they, yeah, it was being bad, but giving me a concussion like that just isn't helping kids at all who are in the need of help and the need of our, um, I was 18 at the time, I think, or 18, and... I just remember it, my head was shaking, and two months later, my head, I got this, like, huge headache from it, and it was kind of like a black, blackout, um, to the point I had a blackout, and I passed out on the floor, um, this place was called Masabi Academy, and it, um, Eventually closed in 2016, and I've seen some stuff. Um, I've seen sexual stuff. I've seen. Um, I've seen kids with broken arms get thrown across the room and try to put them in restraints, even though their arms are broken. No one in the staff knew their arms were broken, and. I just remember it being not a good place at all. There were good times. Yeah, I graduated from that place. But the fact that they shut down because of all these allegations. Coffee. Um, all these allegations of abuse and verbal abuse. Staff abuse. I've seen stuff. I've had to protect other clients from harm. I've tried to help staff who had a busted nose, and there was only one staff on the unit. Um. Eventually, staff came back, and I was relieved. I was really traumatized by that, and by going there. Seeing a staff getting punched, I had to restrain the guy because nobody would else could restrain him. Um, I'm pretty strong myself, but um, kid with cerebral palsy. Um, he got beaten up, and it made me feel kind of like I should be the role model. Step up, you know. But yeah, this is my verbal abuse. Um, physical abuse. And at a treatment facility that I used to go to. Um, from 2012 to 2014. And the place has had many issues with abuse. Including a 
staff whipping McLean, um, staff making but clients fight each other. It was kind of like a corrections facility, um, corrections in Minnesota, and basically it was, but at the same time it also was a hospital for people with mental health issues. Yeah, I have mental health issues, but the fact is that all this stuff that happened affected people like me. I hope this video does you guys good, and I hope you can speak out too about your verbal abuse anywhere from anyone, not just being placed out of home treatment facilities. Verbal abuse, physical abuse, abuse by spouses, you know? Report it. Either that, if you're going somewhere, hand somebody a note. You know, saying that you're a victim of this such in crime. Um, the fact is that you shouldn't let someone push you around. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yes, this is a very, very serious video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.